Hello everybody, this is the next video on how to set up your Axiom with Logic. Uh, first of all, I, I, I have two modes. We can go here. In the no zone I have everything, uh, all the cycle mode, forward, rewind, stop, play, record. That's the only thing I have in this zone, no zone. Uh, then I have named another uh, here on the plus button you can make a, a new zone. In that zone I have uh, three modes. No mode, it's, it's, it's always there. And in no mode I have something called learn mode. Uh, so basically I assigned one button, pressed learn mode and pressed the button. Then in class I change to mode change. Here's global, channel strip, key, key command, control surface, control surface, automation group, and uh, that's it. And then in mode here in value I have rotate. So when I press on my axiom, you can see it jumps between mixer and instrument. And in instrument mode, I have all the instruments, sculptures, so so on, so on. ES2, ES1, everything, so I can use the knobs to to change the filters and stuff like that. And then I also have previous channel strip setting, next channel strip setting, and a previous plugin setting and next plugin setting. And those I have assigned in the key commands. You find them there. And I assigned, uh, assigned them to, to different buttons on my Axiom 49. And then how I changed an instrument. For example, now I have the instrument 2 here. So if I want to open the next instrument, I only press one button and there you go. And the next. And I'm going to show you how to do it. You can see I can jump between all the instruments. And I can also, for example, change the sound of the instrument. These are some of my own. Yeah, uh, well, how did I do this? I'm gonna show you. Uh, if you go to the channel strip settings, you will find something that's called save as performance. And the thing I did, I opened the instrument uh, let's say like this and then I go to settings save as performance then I named it and I gave it a number I'm, I'm not gonna do this now you, you can try it out yourself uh, and I did so for every instrument so now when I press a key that I have assigned on the Axiom, it will change. It will jump between the, the channel strip settings that for me are instruments now. And as I told you, here I have previous channel strip setting set up and next channel strip setting set up and previous plugging setting and next plugging setting. And you do this in the key commands. You find them here. You can write next. Uh, I didn't write next. There you have them next plugin setting, next DSX instrument, and so on and so on. And you assign these learn new assignment, and you assign them to buttons on your Axiom 49 or whatever. And how to set up everything else. You can go to SF Logic Ninja here on YouTube. He has two great videos that he just had posted on uh, control surface and assignments and stuff like that. So go check him out and there he goes through just exactly how you made this mode change and uh, also how to assign the mixer and so on. Mm, and that's it.
thanks for watching this video and uh, I will post a video on the ES, ES2 soon. I have some cool tricks with it, so I will post a tutorial video on some cool tricks with the ES2.